Well, uh, I wanted to like this knife. I do like this knife. I unfortunately don't trust this knife. And if I can't develop trust with the knife, um, if I can't rely on it to not stab me in the back, so to speak, uh, it's it doesn't belong in my pocket. It doesn't belong in my collection, a uh, small collection. Um, I love, I love this knife. Like, I love the knife, but I don't trust it. It sucks. I have had it open two times in my pocket. Um, yes, it, it has a tip lock. Uh, which I have disabled right now. But, um, what good is an assisted opening knife if you have to lock the tip? Like, it's, it's pointless. I carried my Kershaw Clash, uh, for over a decade. Over a decade. EDC, I mean, no rotation, the Kershaw Clash for 10 years. And, um, you know, I, I kind of like developed a love for pocket knives during that time. And so I started getting a couple things, you know, here and there. I'd buy a pocket knife. It was like I'd buy a pocket knife once a year. And it just started like I was going to Walmart. And if they had something in their case I liked, I would, I'd scoop it up 20, 30 bucks, you know. Well, it inevitably got interested in uh, better knives, better steel. Um, <sighs> found my way to this uh, to this leak and I was like, man, that's so different. And uh, I think it would be amazing for a lot of the just EDC type of uh, daily tasks, you know, uh, as a work knife. I was going, I'm, I've been trying to replace that Kershaw Clash for a long time with a better quality knife, you know, better steel, better, better construction, whatever. I can't replace that knife. I cannot do it. Um, opened twice in my pocket. Uh, I thought something stung me. Um, and like I, I, you know, went to that location and I don't know if I went in pocket or whatever and found, you know, that this had partially opened. It had opened, like, to there in my pocket because I carried it properly. I carry it tip up, spine of the blade in the corner of the pocket, like, tucked into the corner of the pocket. I'm, I, I've i carried like that. That's how I carry. That's the intelligent way to carry. Uh, it's the quickest deployment method. It's just a, a no-brainer for me. Um, so I was carrying this thing properly and I don't know what it is. I actually think it is the design of the flipper on this knife. Um, it doesn't require a downward motion. You can push straight into this and it'll open the knife. And I think that's what the flaw is. I think that's what the flaw is along with, it's a, there's a, there's, dual flaws look you could push directly into this and it'll it'll pop out so any side pressure uh, for instance uh, here's like a well that's a bad that's not an assisted here let's go with the the new my new baby the 0350 um, Pushing directly into this, <sighs> look, I'm indenting my fingertip. I'm pushing. <clears throat> you can't open it. It requires downward pressure. So, the double whammy is that, and there is also no detent with the leak there's no sort of detent so once this thing starts moving now I'll release pressure look 
it stays where it's at. Uh, a properly detented blade will favor closed, as will the speed assist uh, aid in keeping it closed. It wants to stay closed when it's closed on a proper uh, assisted knife. You watch, it'll snap closed. See that? That's a detent slipping into place. Um, so there's a double whammy. And I unfortunately, I've even customized this thing with like a grip tape type of material. Front and back. Just some little... Because the scales were completely gripless, you know. And this, is, this just added a really nice little jumpy texture. And I put, you know, like speed holes in it to give some extra purchase. Um, was all ready for this thing to replace the Clash. And I even bought an expensive 20 something dollar deep carry clip. And as you can see, I put some scratches on it. I carried this thing for, uh, I don't know, a month or so, you know, um, but opened twice in my pocket and stuck me in the leg. Didn't draw blood, but I felt, I thought I got stung by something. I thought something bit me. And, uh, you know, after that happened twice, I took the speed safe out. Immediately took the speed safe out. And, um, within, I think, within a day or two, I was getting out of my car, just drove home from work, was getting out of my car, stood up, and got stuck in the leg. And I said, that's fucking it. This bitch is gone. So, um, yeah. The Kershaw leak, unfortunately for me, is a fail.